In the United States, 4,000 horsemen probably haven't assembled anywhere since the Civil War. But in the high plains of central Mexico, each year since 1956, cowboys of faith ride for days to the base of Kubaleta Mountain. Together they climb to the summit to visit a statue of Christ called Cristo Rey. When we lived in the nearby town of Guanajuato in 2005, I took part in the 50th anniversary ride. My horse was old and had a gait like a piston. The man who sold him to us pretended that he was 14 instead of 20-something, but hey, I was also pretending to be a cowboy. <laughs> the ride began before sunrise on January 5th at the small and dusty rancho of our friend Bernardo. A sound that started low grew to fill the darkness as a procession of 500 horses and riders passed down a cobblestone alley. We eased our mounts into this flowing river of horses. It's a family affair. <clears throat> Little guys ride with their dads and brothers and cousins. Wives and daughters may drive a support vehicle and serve food at predetermined stops. At about 8 a.m., we stopped here to receive a blessing from a priest. By 9.30, the procession that we're part of has grown to perhaps a thousand riders. Under the expansive Mexican sky, I had the strong feeling of being part of something unique and powerful. I was excited to see how it would unfold. <clears throat> hasn't had this power on me in all the practice that I've done. <laughs> we took a break in this field around 10.30. Cook fires were already burning, and the smell of wood smoke and warm tortillas hung in the air. I spoke with Ryder, <coughs> riders from all over the region who always offered to share their meal. Most had crossed the Rio Grande and the Arizona desert at one time or another to work. This is my wife chatting up some great looking characters. Like everyone we met on the ride, <coughs> they were generous and polite and also curious about how us gringos came to be there. Most pilgrims were from villages one to three days' ride from the mountain. One rider in a group will often carry a banner uh, signifying the pueblo that they represent. Uh, this guy on the right is from San Miguel de Allende, which you may have heard of, as it has one of the larger expat communities in Mexico. By 1 p.m., all the various approach routes have converged, and we are some 4,000 riders together. The line stretches out equally to the front and the rear. We make small talk with the pilgrims that we meet. The sun is hot, and my horse's gait is beginning to tenderize my backside. <laughs> At about 2 p.m., we approach the base of the mountain, taking a break near that blue church. The faithful hear a second mass, and then seek out lunch and a cold beer. The name of the mountain, El Cubilete, is Spanish for the dice cup. Mercifully, there's a big water trough just before the climb begins, and the horses drink deeply. This is one of my favorite scenes from the ride, and so perfectly Mexican. 4,000 horses and riders entering and exiting by the same alleyway, and jockeying for position at the trough. Shouts and whistles of cowboys, whinnying and snorting of thirsty animals. It's quite close to chaos but somehow it all works. And I managed to reunite with my companions. After we've heard the mass or drank a frosty beverage and visited with friends, we mount up and follow the three kings upward. Riders often keep a bag of hard candy in their saddlebags and toss them to children who line the streets. After we, uh, excuse me, many cowboys dress in their finest western gear with faux pearl buttons, white hats, and boots made of every skin you can imagine. Some take it a step further and dress in costume. Each year this hombre dresses as Pancho Villa, a hero of the Mexican Revolution. By 3.30 the climb tilts back, horses sweat and foam, and riders endure the beating sun. From time to time, someone will shout out, Viva Cristo Rey! Long live Christ the King! And all those with an earshot up and down the mountain respond, 
Viva! <laughs> to explain the geography, we're climbing out of El Bajio, or the low country of central Mexico. Even though it lies at 6,500 feet, the region is some of Mexico's most productive farmland and is also one of the most conservative bastions of Mexican Catholicism. We reach Cristo Rey at last. A much smaller statue existed on this site in the 1920s, but was destroyed by the government during the last stages of the Mexican Revolution. The government tried to reduce the power of the church by outlawing Catholicism. Needless to say, it backfired. To further test their endurance and to reward their faith and effort, there's a final mass on the summit with pilgrims packed in close together, some nodding off occasionally. The air is still and heavy with the smell of incense, sweaty horse, and human. That night we sipped tequila around the campfire, slept on the ground, And we're awoken at 6.30 a.m. by a powerful loudspeaker summoning the uber faithful to yet another mass. We skipped out on that one, ate some breakfast, and made our way down off the mountain and back to the rancho. Near the end and after two long days in the saddle, I was standing in the stirrups for long stretches. Arriving late afternoon, I removed my horse's saddle and he immediately dropped for a roll in the hay. With my backside looking like a baboon's, I wouldn't give that a thought for another 48 hours at least. 